Bananas I'm growing are doing quite a good job of helping to shade the citron and the uh, citron parts I have down here. Um, see that's the flower that's starting to come out now. And over here is the second bunch of These ones are looking a lot nicer. They kind of flowered in a lot warmer temperature. Um, so hopefully these will be a bit nicer. I'll probably pick these soon, put them inside to ripen up. I've got a few more trees there. Let's hope we'll flower next summer. I've started to repair the rust in this front cross member part. Um, I think kind of why it went rusty was the front wheel spare wheel sits in here on an angle facing forward um, so the rust kind of pulled into the corners so I kind of ate away up top so I've cut this bad rust up from top and there's a little bit of light in here um, you can see I've put some rust treatment on it and I've cut out the worst of it and I've welded in a patch from behind here um, the weld's on the edge a little bit rough and I've done the same thing on this corner kind of a little bit matching so what I'm going to do now is put some Perrier 15, um, like a rust preventive paint inside here and then I'm going to start filling up the top section again. As you can see my TIG welding still needs a bit of work. Um, I came up alright around here, but around here it was pretty rough and I kicked ground a bit back and it was a bit porous in here, I'm not sure what's causing that. I did wire brush up but I think there's still a bit of bad paint on here um, and I blew a bit of a hole in here and the inside edge in here is a bit rough. And I've still got to do it along here and fill in that little bit gap there. Um, but I might do the rest with the, t the MIG maybe. Um, it's just, I've got more practice with the MIG. If I was better I probably could do a nicer job with the TIG welder, but I just haven't had enough practice on it. Um, this was clean, It was I was doing it last night, it's just oxidised a little bit overnight, um, but it, I had, did have it still clean when I was doing it. So I've got all this cross member welded in together now. It's not quite as good as I was hoping for, but it's all solid steel now. No big rust holes in here or anything. Um, so what I was welding in before was I put a strip of steel in here. Um, I had to remove this cross member as we bent it a little bit when we were um, trying to tow it to free up the engine. So when I was taking off, I undrilled, drilled out the spot welds. Um, but I drilled right through these ones because I didn't have a proper spot welding drill. Um, so what I've done is, to make it easier for welding it back on, I've put a plate in here and put a little bit of weld in these holes on this side and on here. It was a little bit thicker on here, this end, so I didn't need to do it. I've gone through here, but I think I should be able to weld it up. Um, it was a little bit tricky getting a bit of plate in there, but I managed to get a screwdriver and use a screwdriver to hold it up against here, so I get a little bit of weld on it. I haven't done up top for this top spot welds yet. I might just see how it goes. Um, I can always add something in from the top 
Whereas these ones are a little bit difficult getting access in there to add something in. But I might just see how it goes and if I do need to add something else I can. So what I'm going to do now is just give these a sand up and then start getting it nice and square and weld it in. When I straightened this cross member out, what I did was I unspot welded the bottom plate and then bent it out, you can see in here partly where I straightened it and I actually replaced the bottom plate with a bit of 2mm plate um, just add a bit of strength in case anyone does try to tow it from there again um, which I won't do but it should strengthen up a little bit, it's a little bit rough in here um, but I can always just fix it up before painting it and this green's just another primer we had, had so we got a whole colourful range of primer here but yeah So it here's welded in now, so that's hopefully should be the last of the steel work for the front of it. So what I'll do now is just start getting it ready to paint. I'm not sure how much I'm going to strip it down. Um, like I need to take these axles off anyway because I've got a new um, seal for here, um, new rubber boot for here, and I'll probably need to degrease it and put it back up for grease and everything. Um, so I'll start looking at it next um, time I'm working on it, whether I'll pull out the suspension and axles completely when I paint it. Or well, I might just paint around it and come back to it later. Um, there's a few other things I'll probably strip out. Most of these hoses I think I'll keep in here because um, it's just a bit of a maze in terms of figuring out where it all goes. I don't want to mess with it too much at this stage. And you know, you're not going to see much around here when the motor's in anyway. Um, but I want to get all this rust sorted out and nice and tidy it all up a bit. Back in here, there was like a kind of a tar sound deadening on here. I scraped it off on these either side because it was starting to fall off um, but it's pretty well stuck on there so I'm going to leave it there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint um, paint it all black anyway when I do the rest of it and I've got some underbody seal I'm going to put on these bare parts um, and then I still have those engine covers which I'll put on top of there which will tidy it up but it will just add put in this um, underbody seal help protect it and just give it another layer of sound deadening and protection from water and road noise and stuff. So I forgot to film the other day but when I went and picked up my back window screen I got some other pieces as well. Um, I got these engine covers. They're off a different model DS. I think they're off either a glass or just the uh, 2100 motor. Um, so I thought I might as well get them because the tabs here for bolting them on are already on here. Um, so it's just a case of getting some bolts and bolting them on. And hopefully it will help kind of keep the heat and the noise out of the cab a little bit. Um, While I was down there I took the opportunity to also get a spare steering rack. Um, so this is the one here is out of the car and this is the spare one I got. I don't think there shouldn't be much wrong with this one but I've seen online they have a tendency to leak and you can buy a reconditioned one from overseas it's like a thousand euros. So I thought I might just pay just to have a spare one on hand in case this one does leak. I'll be stripping this one down a little bit in a next video to put new um, steering boots on here and here and maybe give it a paint up and see what I can see inside but I don't want to mess with it too much um, so I thought it was just a good thing to get I also got some hubcaps and door cards which I just kind of wanted to get rid of so I um, got them where I could so I made a slight change of how I'm going to do this boot um, originally I was thinking this is one big strip um, but it's going to fit a little bit better if I cut this plastic bit and in half and say so I've tucked it in there just to drop it down a little bit lower and I was going to put another steel strip from here into here um, to give it more support but I think what I'm going to do is put it in there and pot rub it in here I put another pot rub it in here and maybe two in here I think that's should strengthen it enough by the time I actually glue it all on and everything um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drill the holes 
but I won't put rivetries on until I painted it so I can get all the paint and the, these edges and stuff and then once it's ready to go back on I'll pot rivet, pot rivet it on for good so I've got the holes drilled and the pot rivets in place just to line up make sure I got it all the holes lined up um, so I pronounce this is all ready to sand up prime and paint um, there's a little bit of filling from the rust pits I need to do and there's a little bit of a ding up in this corner I'm going to beat out but apart from that um, you'll probably see me priming it next For the small little like low points, like where the rust was kind of eaten away a little bit and little tiny little nicks and stuff, I've been using this um, fine putty. Um, it's quite good just for filling in little bits. Unlike body filler, you don't need to mix it with hardener. You can just put it on as, as you need it, and it sands off pretty easily and dries pretty fast, so it's quite good. As you might have seen, I'm not sure if it caught it, but I've painted this all black. Um, my camera battery might have gone flat before I started painting. It's not like the most amazing paint job in the world, but it looks come up pretty nice. Um, you don't see most of this anyway. Um, got a back bit down there, and you can see I've started to put some of the bits I've painted back up on. I didn't film much of it, but this is probably the worst rust, rust patch in the back in here. The C pillar must have been catching a bit of water and started to rust out. So I just put a patch in here, and... I also replaced this little last bottom bit of the window screen channel. Um, I spent a little bit of steel and welded in there. And so this is all painted black now, treated the rust up here. So what I'm going to do now is start getting the window screen ready to go back in. Um, I've got this rubber strip here that goes on the bottom. Um, but before that I want to cut a new bit of material for here. So previously it had like a kind of vinyl-y spongy stuff that had all deteriorated in the sun. Um, so what I've gone, I've got some, bought some cheap carpet from the local hardware store and I'm going to cut it into size to fit. I did a few, this a few years ago with this Citroen and it still looks quite good I think. Um, they didn't quite have the same carpet so I'm trying something a little bit different but hopefully it will still look just as nice.
So I've got all the carpet, carpet cut here and I've got the window screen stuff starting to get ready to go back in. Um, I've got these plates here that hold on. I've cut new rubber bits here out for them. Um, I've also put these clips back up on here. Um, I just brushed a bit of primer on there the other day just to, so when I do paint the roof it kind of blends in a bit nicer. Um, and then I'm going to put the stainless steel trim back on before I put the window screen on just in case I have any issues. I started trying to film putting the window screen in but um, it was a bit too difficult so I kind of did it off camera. Um, it wasn't too hard getting in, it just took a few attempts at getting it right, getting it in the seal and just getting this back bit tucked in. Um, I've got these plates on here now and it's all pretty firm. Um, yeah, I was trying to be careful with it because I didn't want to break it again. So, But it's not it's in there now and I've got that carpet sitting in there on the shelf. I've also got the bumper sitting back on here. I gave this back panel a bit of a sand up and painted it black. Cleaned up these lights as well. I haven't bolted the bumper on here yet because um, I'm not sure I'm going to take it off for anything else. As you can see I primed the boot and there's a few little rough patches in I filled in and hopefully I'll get this painted soon. Um, and you saw me painting the other guard. There's one run on it um, but I think that should sand out hopefully. So that's about it for this video. Next time I'll probably just keep carrying on getting this boot painted so I have all the free guards painted, um, ready to go back on. And I'll also carry on at the front painting the engine bay black, um, getting it ready for the engine to go back in. There's still no sign of the engine parts I've ordered so hopefully sometime this month. Um, if not I'll start making some inquiries and worst case scenario I might have to order them again which will be a bit of annoying. Yeah, so that's about it. Um, thanks for watching. We're nearly at 300 subscribers, so it'll be good when we hit 300. Um, yeah, thanks for all the support.